Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, you've got the vulnerable card over here. So there's some kind of situation that you're feeling, um, you know, a bit out of sorts with. Um, you know, you're feeling... Um, as they say, you're feeling vulnerable. You're feeling as though, you know, you're going to be attacked. So you might be sitting in a very, very defensive position. Um, there might have been some kind of breakdown of communication between your news and somebody else. There might have been some drama that happened. Um, and maybe there's been a breakdown of a relationship, um, maybe within the workplace. Um, and, you know, some kind of um, separation that went on. And that has left you feeling very, very vulnerable. Uh, it says, you know, just have a little bit of patience. Uh, things look like they will work out. You also may be working towards deadlines, and this might be making you feel very, very vulnerable right now. So there might be something pending that you have to finish quite quickly, and, uh, you know, you're, you're trying to get it done, and uh, this is making you feel a bit anxious. Now, in the past, there's some kind of scandal that was... Uh, uh, that you were involved in or that happened around you. So some kind of drama that happened around you and this presented, um, you know, maybe it isolated you from everybody else and made you, um, you know, feel very, 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 very miserable having to deal with this particular problem. So that something that happened that presented a challenge, there was some kind of drama, some kind of episode that happened uh, that caused you to be isolated from everybody else and have to sort out this problem by yourself. And this is the thing that has been making you feel very, very vulnerable, whatever this challenge was. And it might have been a breakdown of a relationship between you and somebody in the workplace and a reconciliation. So you're trying to get together, get back together or trying to reestablish that particular relationship again. Um, you've got um, maybe the person that you dealt with was a fair-haired or gray-haired person. So you might have been dealing with a, somebody that you had problems with and they were a gray-haired, fair-haired person. And this has caused, you know, uh, that isolation, you're feeling very isolated, very, very lonely, very, very unsupported, and you're having to deal with a lot of problems right now. You're trying to get back together, get back that relationship again, and it says, you know, just have a little bit of patience and be very cautious about how you proceed. So do things very, very carefully. Watch what you say, look and listen. So make sure that, you know, you're, you, um, you know, feel the, um, uh, whatever's going on first before you start acting. So don't just rush into things. Take your time. Be patient. Uh, you know, sometimes these things resolve themselves um naturally uh, no, you know so you might just need to just wait it out till the storm um you know um, goes blows over and then approach it when when all the dust settles really so just hang in there just wait um before you start uh, rushing in and doing things so don't pursue it too uh, dramatically uh just wait a little bit um you know that those energies those negative energies might die down and you'll be able to resolve this particular situation that you're dealing with so those are the energies for those two weeks. So I am using the Tarot of New Vision for the main read. At the bottom of the deck, you've got the fool, and this is about taking a chance. There was, a, there, it looks like there was some kind of drama over here. You've got this volcano, so some kind of eruption of something happened. So there was a big, something big happened, uh, and it looks like you're starting afresh, starting new. You've turned your back on some old situation, and you're moving forward. Now you could be leaving this particular situation and going and starting uh, a new job, starting something brand new after a big drama had happened in the particular place that you're working in. So you could be uh, changing jobs or or there might be a drama in that situation or in that job that you're working in and you're trying to move away from it or try to start a brand new cycle or try to start a brand something brand new but whatever it is there's a brand new beginning and you are taking a chance in it uh, maybe you haven't thought it out very, very carefully. So just be careful about jumping in too quickly into a situation. Sometimes things don't work out very, very well with a fool because, you know, um, the fool is about sudden happenings, big dramatic situations happening. And, you know, um, sometimes we just react 
uh, with the full card is just about reacting to the situation rather than thinking about it. So uh, with the full, although it's a beginning a brand new of a brand new situation or brand new cycle, you do need to have uh, give it some um, thought. Um, you know, so you do need to weigh all your options before you start making that brand new um, start. And it looks like there was a big drama over here. You've got the tower card over here. So there was some kind of argument, some kind of crisis that happened. And maybe this is why you want to leave everything and move on to something brand new. Um, and it was within the workplace. So you were collaborating with somebody at the moment, somebody that you were working with, and it looks like there was some kind of drama that happened because this is the card that's crossing. So maybe there was a disagreement about how the project is going or how things are moving on. And this caused a big um, flare up. Um, to happen. So in the past year, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. So things were starting to change. Things were starting to move on. The energies were shifting. Uh, you know, you were moving on from being very stagnant into something uh, better. So old cycle ending, new cycles beginning. And, um, you know, you were, were moving on in this last year. And, you know, you were working with people that you've worked with for many years. This is the Six of Cups. You know, uh, you had, uh, it's, you know, energies of people like you almost grow up with them. So it was, you know, you had been working a long time with these people and you were very close to them it seems there may have been some kind of offer that came in for you as well and maybe this is the thing that started off uh the whole um argument that came in maybe there was an offer that was made to you and uh, you know your work colleagues were not happy that you were trying to leave the situation or trying to make a brand new start and maybe this is why this crisis or this drama came in on the other hand you know this offer came in and now because there's this big drama that happened over there this is the reason why you want to move on to something else but it was definitely involving maybe uh, you know a third three people situation it seems like you did want to move on away from this particular situation you've got those wagon uh, wagons over there that want to move on so maybe you wanted to leave the situation and branch off uh, because you were not getting on maybe there was too much of um, uh, so too many things going on uh, too many arguments going on over here but something has definitely come in to change that energy to make you want to leave the situation and move on and you are have been considering this new offer as well. So you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So you have been very focused on your money and very focused on your work, whatever that project was. It seems like you were heading that project. You can see you were also working very, very hard. This man is um um, you know, sowing the, the field over there and you know, working very, very hard at it. So you were very, very focused uh on your work and working extremely hard within that job. Now you've got a choice to make, whether to go or whether to stay. It seems like there's been a breakdown of communication between you and this particular person that you've had this uh, drama with, and now you have a choice about whether to turn your back on it and move forward and move away. And uh, you can see that horse running away. So you're trying to, to decide whether to stay or to go. Maybe you know this person for a very, very long time, or you've been in this company for a very long time. But with because of this drama, you have uh, you feel like you have no choice but to leave. Now, there's some kind of legal um, involvement here. Um, so you can see there's a lot of drama that happened over here. There's a lot of fire, people running away. So this is a big crisis that happened. And there might have been a legal situation that emerged from it. Um, or definitely something that was official that emerged from it. And it was very, very, it's, it's all very, very uh, nasty energy, very, very dramatic energy. Um, you know, uh, there was a lot of... Um, problems that came in a lot of problems with communication a lot of arguments that came in over here and it seems like there was some kind of legal decision that has been made or will be made um or uh, you're waiting for that legal decision to come in so those that news is coming in maybe you're planning on even breaking contract with these people and this is causing stirring up a lot more problems so you're in a very very volatile situation at this particular moment you've got the devil over here so uh, maybe you're still being bound to this particular company you want to leave but they can't they, you know you're not being allowed to leave because of maybe the contract that you signed or that it's very very difficult you're suddenly feeling very tied up very very bound to the situation and maybe Maybe you're trying to break this contract but there seems to be a lot of drama going on around you've got the devil card over here the knight of swords you've got the tower card over here so there's a lot of problems that are going on and that you're facing you're trying to sever ties but it doesn't seem like it's um very very easy because this devil is holding very very strongly onto 
onto you. You're being chained to this job. So something is legally binding you to it. And maybe this is what you're trying to do. You're trying to cut that legal uh, uh, binding to that particular job or that particular post. And it's being very, very difficult. And it, every time you try to make a move, there's a lot of drama that comes on. So if there's a lot of fighting. And maybe you're, uh, you know, at the moment you're in a very uncomfortable position. And you've got this really big decision to make here with this lover's card. Uh, this angel has turned its back over here on these lovers. So whatever this drama my ears, you know, you're feeling very, very unsupported and you feel like, you know, you don't know what you want to do uh, and you do want to move on. You want your freedom. Uh, um, you do feel like there's a loss of communication. Something is not right over here and you're not happy to stay in that situation. But it is being almost impossible for you to move on because you're being bound by whatever it is, whatever this legal um, contract is, is binding you. And every time you try to make a move, it's, you know, stirring up a lot of problems as well. Now, you do want to move on and you want to get into a position of authority or a position of leadership and maybe a, a, a new offer coming in for you, uh, you know, you, um, this maybe the six of cups is that offer that's coming for you that's offering uh you know a, a better position and maybe you're considering that so you're worried about it you are worried about money as well so going into the future you've got that decision to make so you've got two twos over here whether to stay or whether to go, it seems, with this uh, two of wands. So you are at a crossroads, a very, very major crossroads. You've got the lovers, which is sitting at a crossroads over there. Uh, you know, um, it seems like, you know, going is just as difficult as staying in this particular post. So you are making plans to move on. You seem to be putting out your CV or putting out information about yourself and trying to leave that old job behind and move on. Uh, maybe this new job involves travel because you've got the world in your hand over here and it's a better job it gives you more authority um you know and maybe more security as well and you're trying to move on there's that wall in front of you so there's a barrier so it seems like you know it's difficult to actually get out of this position you can see this man is very bound within this uh, maybe little patio kind of se section now this car this uh man sitting in the background of here represents the fool so you do want to make that that leap you do want to take that risk you do want to move forward but, you know, you are uh, really um, being prevented from doing it. So this fool is very, very stuck in this particular position. So even though you want to start this new job, it's, it's very difficult for you to move out of this particular position. Even though you're putting out a lot of communication, you're making a lot of plans, something is preventing you from moving. And you have got that decision to make. Uh, there's a choice of uh, whether to stay or whether to go. Uh, you're trying to decide what to do. You're considering both options. You're weighing everything at this particular moment, looking about at you know the pitfalls about going or the pitfalls about staying. And so you're you know you don't want to be one of the sheep that stays just because you didn't have a choice. Uh, so you are really at a, a crossroads and you're trying to make a big decision at this particular moment. It looks like you will leave this particular position. This job is going to take you out. It seems like you will walk away from it uh, and you will get into something better where you work on a more international basis. Maybe this is a job about moving away uh, out of the country, even going overseas, but definitely branching out or expanding your horizons and moving on. And it seems like you're going to be getting into working with a lot of people in a group here, this is a group situation, a lot of collaboration, a lot of communication going on. So it looks like you will eventually make that decision and move on. But you, at the moment, you are facing a very, very difficult decision. There are three cards about, you know, decisions. So you've got that two of um, wands over here, the two of pentacles, and the lovers card over here. So that is probably why you're very, very anxious because something dramatic happened. Uh, there's still some kind of legal binding over here, and you're waiting for that decision, that official decision to be made. Uh, right now, you've just gone through some kind of crisis uh, in your job, and you know you do want to move on. So this is the um, fairy tarot. And the magician says that you can do anything, take charge of your life. You can manifest what you need to be successful. Now, in this card, you can see the pathway is open. There are no obstacles in your path, and you will achieve success as well. You've got that nice little castle in the background over there. So the pathway is open. So it's just about you making that decision, and you can manifest it if you want it. And then you've got the Queen of Spring over here, which says, believe in yourself. Wonderful, wonderful people want to help you maintain balance between work and home. So this is about taking charge, and they, it looks like there is somebody that's going to come and help you, um, you know, achieve what you want. Uh, with this Queen of Spring. So there might be somebody there uh, who will help you, um, you know, move on. 
Uh, you just need to have that confidence. So if you're going to make that decision, make it and move on. And then you've got the Hermit card of here, which is your card. Uh, uh, it's ruled by Virgo, which says find a mentor, take a break from society, a commitment to your spiritual growth. Now, the Hermit talks about focusing on your work, uh, truth being of revealed to you. She's got the light um, of truth in her hand over there, and she's moving forward. So you will have to make that decision, and you will be able to um, you know, achieve uh, because the the, um, the hermit, you know, uh, he's a very experienced person and he's a very ex he's very expert at what he does, and uh, you know he's very focused on his work as well. So it looks like, uh, and he's moving forward, uh, you know, in truth. So it looks like there's somebody there, and she's also got the truth of light. So there's somebody there that's going to give you that answer that you need and show you how to do it. Uh, you are being guided. Uh, along this pathway over here and there looks like this queen of spring uh, and she might be a fire sign person um, Aries Leo Sagittarius not necessarily but somebody who is uh, definitely in higher management of sorts uh, with a lot of authority and skill in her hand she's going to be somebody that guides you out of this particular position and gives you uh, that help that you need uh, to get out of this particular position so just have faith believe in yourself and uh, make that decision uh you know you you are weighing everything up but you need to make that decision in order for you to to do what you want whatever decision you uh, you make your path is open you know the road is open for you there's no obstacles that stand in your way so uh, best of luck in this situation i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to watch my energy remedies videos that i've put out thank you so much for watching take care now good